how can you go through a game like that where there are stretches when you look like your team is so off their game, and then when it matters most, they look like they're so on their game? Well, I mean, I think it proves that in sports you have to play with emotion. I mean, uh, the last 25 minutes we were emotionally into it, and and uh, it, it's uh, it's amazing what emotion does. And uh, the first. Uh, uh, 35 minutes we were uh, we weren't and it showed you know so even after they scored the fourth goal for the next eight to ten minutes it was just like uh, you know and then we scored a goal and then everything was uh, going again the uh, after the they made it three nothing you, you seem to bench both power play units with Felino and Erickson Eck and 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 uh, Stewart it was that calculated on your part to kind of wake them up well uh, yeah like when things Start, at, you know, like I've learned before just from experience that you can't keep throwing the same group out if they're not going to have some success. And sometimes you throw somebody else out and it gets them really mad at you. And uh, uh, and then they go out and play. And I've, it happened way more in Anaheim, excuse me, <coughs> than it did here. But uh, um, this is, you know, it, it woke the power play up and they got two goals. Yeah, uh, pleased, uh, pleased, miffed, or both after a game like this, where it's just such a up and down game. <coughs> well, I'm happy we won. Um, uh, I'm not happy that we didn't play 60 minutes. Um, so, I mean, there's the good and the bad that you take out of this. I mean, the fact that you can come back in the third period, and it shows that you can come back. When you play with emotion, you can come back. I mean, I hope that this is a little bit of a believer. Uh, makes them believe a little bit, you know, which will be good. It is amazing to win a game that you have an overturned goal and then you give up that goal right at the beginning of the third period. I mean, you could have easily, a month ago, may have deflated. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of things going against us. I mean, uh, on the goal that we challenged, uh, all I kept thinking was uh, Stewart's goal at the beginning of the year. The guy had six, six seconds and they called it back. I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't. I didn't think he got a chance to get uh, uh, settled, but you, know, you just never know how that thing's going to go. And at the time of it, I thought we had nothing to lose, so I called it. What What pleases you the most about you know a win like that? That we get two points at the end of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, uh, you can't be satisfied with, with you know playing 30 minutes a game because it's going to come up and bite you as the season goes along. But I mean, uh, you, they can't all be Picassos either. I mean, it shows great character to be able to come back and all of a sudden do that. And it makes people believe, or the team, I think, believe that they're capable of doing it. I mean, if, if, if we had gone through the motions in the game, ended up with an empty netter, and it would have been five to two, uh, you, you would have, you know, that's the way you think the next game. And now the next game, if this is the situation, I'm sure the, it may not, we may not win, but they're going to have the belief that they're capable of doing it if they do certain things. Does it carry more credibility when you come back and beat a team of their quality that's playing as well as they were before tonight? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, every team in this league is great. They're, they're on a quite a roll themselves, and and maybe they were due for one. If you asked uh, uh, their coach that the last 30 minutes for a letdown, I don't know. Um, it's hard to keep winning with uh, getting streaks going in this league. How concerned are you that that you know this? Is, I think five games now, and you've had three different forwards scoring nine haven't, and there, I think there are six or seven that are on seven, eight, nine, ten game droughts. Well, I mean. We're used to having balance, and I got to believe the ones that aren't scoring eventually are going to. That's what you got to keep open. You know, keep putting out those. I know the guys you're talking about, and keep putting them out there, and hopefully something comes around.